another week of this mental health series. I am so glad you are joining us. Listen, we have been knee deep in this conversation. And so we're just going to continue and we're going to pick off right where we left off. So get your notebooks out, get your pens out, get your finger chats ready and join us for this conversation. Anybody have anything they want to say? I just want to say that. Say it, Yvette. Come on. You, you're doing good, honey. Uh, speak up. Like, yeah. whatever you're going through, speak yeah. up. Speak up. Talk about it. Um, and don't be ashamed. Just yep. talk because someone else mm -hmm. is going through something either similar yep. or whatever. Just oh, yeah. talk. Mm -hmm. Talk. Yep. Find someone to talk to. Um, I know that people can feel lonely even in a crowd. Yes, that's they can right. feel yeah. isolated. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there. I've mm -hmm. I've been where there's a crowd and I felt isolated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but when you That's because you're so pretty. No. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty baby. When you come to yourself, yeah. like the prodigal son, when he came to himself, that's yeah. right. Yeah. When you come to yourself mm -hmm. and you realize you're not alone. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're not isolated. Mm -hmm. That people do see you. Yeah. yeah. Um, it gives you a rope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it gives yeah. you mm -hmm. a hand yeah, up. It, it yeah. gives you uh, yeah. hope or confidence that, okay, I, let me take the next step. Yeah. Let me mm -hmm. keep on going forward. Yeah. Let me get to my father that's over there waiting yeah. for yeah. me. Mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. With the fatted calf, with the yeah. robe, with the ring. Yeah. With, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody so he's, sees me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, I know that there are, are women out there that are dealing with stuff from their past and holding on to it and mm -hmm. feeling ashamed. Talk about it. Talk, Talk about, about it. it. Yeah. And if the Lord's forgiven you, then yeah. you're forgiven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And, you know, mm -hmm. it, you got to shake off the shame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Again, if yeah. that's talking to a counselor or a therapist, yeah. um, then do it. Yeah. You know, it's healthy. It's good. You need to be able to release, to dump, to, to let it go yes. so that you can be free. Mm -hmm. So good. And it doesn't matter how old you are. There's no age demographic that this no. is limited no. to no. at no. all. No. Mm -hmm. there, I mean, right. it doesn't matter. You can be young. You can be a teenager. You can be a child. You can be a wonderful older senior. Mm -hmm. And yet that doesn't mean these feelings are any different That's for right. you, you yeah. know? That's and right. so um, these are real mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you are important to us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you are, and you matter yeah. mm -hmm. yes. and you are needed mm -hmm. yeah. and you are loved and you are appreciated. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if anybody has told you that lately, mm -hmm. but you are mm -hmm. and you are valuable. Yeah. And so we want you to come out of or whatever we can do to help you come out or just normalize this conversation so you can start talking to come out of your situation so that we can see all the amazing gifts mm -hmm. that God has inside of you. Yeah. I want to talk about, for a moment, our bodies. Mm -hmm. Let's um, talk about the bodies. Th there's a wonderful book. The, the author's name eludes me, so I apologize. But the book is called Your Body Keeps the Score. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that we have to realize when it comes to trauma is that our bodies were there for all of it. Yeah, mm. that's right. And our bodies remember that's right. all of it. That's good to me. It. Mm -hmm. That's good, mm -hmm. yeah. They remember the pain of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. They remember the pleasure of it. Mm -hmm. Even if it was traumatic and violating. Mm -hmm. right. right. It still remembers. It remembers, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And we cannot mm -hmm. be disrespectful mm -hmm. to our bodies mm -hmm. when we talk about restoration yeah. from traumatic episodes in our life. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have to take into consideration that our bodies were there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that right. there That's are things that, that are, that are mm -hmm. there are things in our bodies that we need mm -hmm. uh, to acknowledge, grieve, mm -hmm. lament, mm -hmm. and let out mm -hmm. so that our bodies feel better yeah. That's right. about That's right. the situations we're in. Mm -hmm. I know I'm a, I'm a big hugger. Mm -hmm. I know people that have gone through traumatic events, they can't be hugged mm -mm. because they've never allowed their body to grieve mm -hmm. right. the violation mm -hmm. that happened to them. That's so right. every hug is a reminder of trauma yeah. mm -hmm. when yeah. you got to... My, my, my therapist is amazing. Her mm -hmm. name is Jill, and she's <laughs> quite fantastic. I love her very much. <laughs> and Jill, uh, uh, when, I, when I'm in my sessions with her, Jill will go... 
Yeah, when you said that, your whole body did something. <laughs> Can you put words to what your body just did? Mm -hmm. She was like, because your body's talking to me right now. <laughs> and your body's welcome here. She mm -hmm. always says that. Mm -hmm. Your body is welcome that's, here. That's beautiful. It's been that with is. you this whole journey. Right. It's welcome here. Mm -hmm. And so I saw you relax when you did that. Or I saw you start to fidget when you did that. Or I started, mm -hmm. you tensed up that's when so you said that. so sweet and comforting to it's hear. It's so yeah. sweet. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, and so. Uh, <laughs> Y'all gotta go to jail. <laughs> be, be, because, because, I, I, um, because I'm an empath and... Uh, I'm very, I attune to people. I'm always looking at their bodies. Mm -hmm. But I've never been um, as aware of my own until th these that. sessions that I started going to with Jill. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to bring that up. Yeah. That, that's, that that's yeah. a great point. our bodies have been right. through this. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. If, mm -hmm. if everything was coming out of you loud, mm -hmm. that means in your silence, your body was even experiencing uh -huh. yeah. tension yeah. Right. Right. to right. keep all that stuff in. Oh, God. That's right. how ulcers are birthed. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. Because you never yeah. got to say what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. So it's right. literally burning a hole through uh, your that's stomach right. lining. That's right. That's right. Right. And your body's <laughs> like, yo. Mm -hmm. We are producing too much gastric That's juice because right. mm -hmm. yeah. you won't talk. Because you won't say right. That. You know what I mean. That's right. Person's mm -hmm. hair is falling out. Yeah. They're, you, you know what I'm saying. Their they're, teeth. Right. Their yeah. teeth. They're, they're, their blood pressure's their blood going pressure. up. Oh, I Hypertension. Yeah. Right. Right. Because the oh, anger. Yeah. Their That's ears right. are hot. Their stomachs in cramp. They got IBS. Right. They can't boob right. They're losing weight. They're drastically or gaining weight or holding weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the body is responding to all this stuff that's going on. Right. As you say that, yeah. I had, a, and I shared with you guys uh -huh. last summer, I have never had anemia, mm. but I had low blood. Wow. They were going to have to give me a blood transfusion. That's, wow. We were wow. on the brink of it. I remember this. Yes. And yes, of yes, course, yes. you know, That's prayers right. and all of that. But I believe that it was because of what was inside what mm. he was saying. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. it was like, now, wow, right. I'm feeling better. Right. I mean, I went and got my annual and I'm doing better, wow. even lost 35 pounds. Wow. Great. Right. I mean, wow. but it's the, what yeah. you're saying is yeah. so, like, it's, it's so happening good. with me. We yeah. had a discussion yes. offset. Mm -hmm. Narisha and yeah. I saying the same thing. It's like, it was draining the mm. blood out of me, literally, mm. because yeah. wow. I became anemic. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And wow. it was just heavy. Yeah. But I so, like, it was draining that's my the life. Blood out of you. It really was. Blood it was like really, yeah. And yeah. The, your body is there yes. when you're having that's this right. trauma. Yeah. And that's the so older good. you get yeah. and you're holding it in, it's right. not gonna, that's yeah. right. I mean, it's gonna come out in yeah. the yeah. Yeah. sicknesses and diseases right. yeah. and all of it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm a witness. Wow. That, that's, that's, in that that's also you mentioned, the body keeps the score. There is a story of a young boy who was um, in Catholic school. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if you remember the story, but um, he had repressed the, the memory of his priest molesting him. Mm -hmm. oh. And it wasn't until the, the information came out publicly that his body reminded him mm. wow. of a time that he was molested and, and somebody began to question, well, you went to that parish, you went to that, wow. you know, mm. did this happen to you? And yep. all of it started lining up. Mm. And I think it's it, to your point about, you know, our body does keep the, the memory of stuff that even we yeah. try to forget. Yes, yes. absolutely. Our, our body yes. will remind us, it will it show does. up. Right. And Right. And our health issues yes. will right, show up right, even yeah. when we just hear about things. And we talk about being triggered. Mm -hmm. A yeah. lot of times we don't know what triggers us. Yes. We right. just have a, a, a response, a, right. a physical so or emotional good. response without yes. right. questioning, okay, why did that trigger me? That's what right. what mm -hmm. happened that caused me to lash out like mm -hmm. that? Right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important in our conversations about mental health that we become curious, not just about our family history, but about ourselves. That's yes. right. Because self-awareness yes. is a door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It allows right. us to mm -hmm. see ourselves better and to mm -hmm. see what we need to protect ourselves from better as well. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's true. That's yeah. so good. That's wow. That's wow. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that because it's, no, it's, it's, uh, it's important. That's it's good. important. Yeah. So many of us are walking around re responding from triggered mm -hmm. 
a, just a triggered baseline. Yeah, that's because right. Because we have not had the conversations with ourselves yeah. right. about what really hurt us. Yes. yes, we've been. We will be angry, but we don't realize mm-hmm. no right. behind all what, that anger yeah. true. Yeah. is a lot of hurt that yeah. you don't want to mm-hmm. call that's hurt. Right. Yeah, that's right. And we've been told you gotta be strong, mm-hmm. but it's okay to be weak too. Yeah, mm-hmm. let me just yeah. say that mm-hmm. it is okay to be weak well, and say I need help. You're piggybacking off yes. what Billy mm-hmm. said. Yes. redefining. Mm-hmm. Yeah, strength. Well, we don't, the, the, the strength needs to be redefined, yeah. but weakness needs to be celebrated. Yes. 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 This, this yes. is the. Do something different with that because yes. weakness is a negative connotation. That's what I'm saying. Let right. it go. It, it takes so much more strength to let yeah. it go. You know, That's it, right. it really does. And so mm-hmm. I hate that it's called weak to be okay to be weak because it's really in your strongest that you can share what you Come want to on. share. Yeah. Well, and, and there's scripture to back this up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Second Corinthians chapter number 12, Paul literally says, mm-hmm. uh, when I am weak, mm-hmm. that's when I'm the strongest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that literally, uh, uh, my, my strength is actually found in mm-hmm. my yes. weakness. Yes. Yes. It's not found in my strength. It's actually mm-hmm. found in what I can admit. Mm-hmm. I, I'm weak in this area. Mm-hmm. I've reached my breaking point. Yes. It's time for me to tap out. Mm. I got to go lay down, right? Yeah. That's where you're going to get your restoration. That's where your healing is going to come from. That's where your energy is going to yes. come from. Mm-hmm. It's when you realize you have to go away, mm-hmm. where you have to sit down, where I have to now talk because oh. this is... Which is the strength that's, to be able to yeah. say, yeah, absolutely. I am not doing good that's right, right here, right. so let me acknowledge this mm-hmm. and make a different decision. And we need to, you know, we, right now culture is split Mm -hmm. on this level of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Uh, Case in point, when um, Simone Biles bowed out of Mm -hmm. uh, the Olympics, Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of Americans that were like, oh, she's she's from a different... This generation is so soft and they don't have the mental Mm -hmm. fortitude. No, you just wanted this woman to break her body to get you a gold medal. You don't even know her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You just wanted a gold medal for America at the expense of whatever it was going to cost this woman, right? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. right. While, while others of us, right, who have broken the silence and gone, you know what, we're breaking this generational mm-hmm. curse, went, bravo. Yeah. That's right. We yes. You don't feel like backflipping exactly. and, and, and right. going yeah. into disorientation yeah. and cracking your neck on, the, on, on a pad? Yes. Right. Girl, yeah. stay your tail mm-hmm. at home and, yeah. and, and get right, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're celebrating the weakness mm-hmm. yeah. because we knew it took strength for her to say, mm-hmm. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know I've done that for the last yeah. 12 years, but I can't do it for this yeah. year. Yeah. It, we have to, we're normalizing the narrative, and by normalizing the narrative, mm-hmm. I hope weakness can start to be celebrated mm-hmm. in a way where it's like, oh, you can't handle that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I respect that boundary. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, does this trigger yeah. you? We've had conversations, yeah. many of conversations, yeah. where, where we'll have a text exchange and I'll be like, hey, I can't handle that. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't bring that <laughs> yep. in the text thread no yep. more. Mm-hmm. And we respect our boundaries, <laughs> yep, right? Yep, it's like yep, we yeah. respect our boundaries. <laughs> yeah. so, so I think that's coming to relationships more where it's like, mm-hmm. instead of going, you'll be all right, yeah. right? Which is incredibly Dis- dismissive, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. you're strong enough. You can handle that. Right. It's like, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. I can, okay, if that's your boundary, if that... If that's a trigger for you, mm-hmm. if that's an area of weakness for you, mm-hmm. I respect that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I respect that. I won't do that around you because I don't want that to be something exactly. that makes you mm-hmm. spin out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I applaud our generation. Yeah. To be honest Me with too. you. Me uh-huh. too. We're working we, hard we, out we here. Work work good. Good. So, oh my God. Good. Oh, good. Oh, it's you know, true. Yeah. We're trying to undo some things. I, I have exactly taught right. diversity and inclusion to a large audience of people from different ages. And what I found that in older generations, they would get angry that we were having these conversations that required empathy Mm -hmm. and feeling. And I would hear the response, you know, like, well, y'all are just too sensitive. And I'm like, how does that make you feel? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because they were taught that that strength right. meant not deal with That's right. the right. stuff right. that causes right. us to feel. And exactly. here we are. We're like, no, I want to hear all your feelings. Right. You know? yeah. And we're celebrating yeah. therapy. Mm-hmm. therapy. We're celebrating empathy and yeah. self-awareness. Mm-hmm. And I just say, keep going because it's changing the lives of our children. Right. Yes. Our That's children right. won't have yeah. to walk the same yeah. Yeah. struggle and yeah. the journey right. that we had to grow up having yeah. and mm-hmm. just keep going. Listen, it's, it's interesting you say that. That The same generation that said, don't talk about nothing, mm-hmm. couldn't go home until they hit the bar. 
Right. Yeah. Or got through a whole pack of cigarettes. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. <laughs> Well, they yeah. gave their conversation to the drink and to the cigarette. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. You know. So, so, so I, I, I just, I'm proud of the work that we're doing. Yes. yes. Because the work that we're doing is helping people. To to your point, Drew, we can't go back and fix parents, grandparents, great grandparents. But we can learn from them, That's yes. right? right. That's yes. right. I took copious notes, yes. right? Like, oh, y'all, y'all didn't talk <laughs> about nothing. Don't do that. Uh-huh. Right. Note don't to self. Right. Exactly. I am not going to do that to me. Yeah. I'm not doing that to Nathan. Right. I'm not doing that to Noah. Right. right? I right. hope to be around when, when, when my grandchildren are here, because right. I want to tell them some things mm-hmm. before I leave the earth. You know what I mean? Yeah. We 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 should be willing to pass on the narrative, good, bad, and ugly. Yes. That's right. Yeah. I don't want to just share. When you pass over, oh, that's mm-hmm. good, Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. What'd he say now? <laughs> if, 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 if I came from uh, generations of wealth, mm-hmm. then I would have to tell my successors slash inheritors, mm-hmm. here's the money we have. Here's the land that we've acquired. Here are the businesses that we run. Here are the ones that are in good shape. Here are the ones that are in bad shape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's where the good land is. Right. And this is still profitable. We own this land. We can't even sell it. Mm -hmm. It's a bad piece of property. Nobody wants it, but it's Mm -hmm. ours. Mm -hmm. Um, We would hand over wealth with the books open. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that's, <laughs> that's good. good. Mm-hmm. That is real good. Yeah. Yeah. And we would mm-hmm. show our oh, P&Ls. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's been our profits that's and right. our losses. That's, yeah. that's right. That's here's good. where we appreciate it, and here's mm-hmm. where we have depreciated yes. it. Yes. Right. yes. Our narrative is generational wealth. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Our story mm-hmm. is a story of wealth. Mm-hmm. And we have to pass it on, books fully open, mm-hmm. P&L. All the way down. That's right. Profit and loss. Yes. That's right. Here's what our family has accumulated, and That's here's right. where we've profited, yeah. mm-hmm. and here are the losses that have happened in That's our family. Right. My when my we've family. made bad decisions, yeah. this is what it has looked like. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is what it has cost yes. us. Yes. Mm-hmm. And That's now, good. as we give these That's books mm-hmm. over to you, yeah. Yeah. Yes. we hope that you can build upon the wealth. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Even better. And not leave our family in a deficit. And that's that's right. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. You want to snap to it? All right. Oh, yes. Yes. The gift yes. of the Old Testament <laughs> is that good. their profits and their losses were yes. recorded. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. That's exactly right. right. Yes. We would know how to that's live right. Right. our lives. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. right. God's grace and mercy. Even Bible genealogy. That's right. Yes. Yes. Telling us and telling us who begat who and all of this. That's right. It's important to understand where we come from and why. That's right. Yes. That's good. Neither Mary nor Joseph questioned their lineage. That's right. Mm-hmm. They both knew they were from royalty. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. They both knew they were from the tribe of, uh, of Judah, mm-hmm. that they were from David's loins. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Because there were copious mm-hmm. notes, notes taken. Mm-hmm. Yes. And there, there, there was a meticulous attention to detail mm-hmm. and how those genealogies mm-hmm. yes so yes, for yes. Matthew to record and for Luke mm-hmm. to record mm-hmm. that so and so begat so and so for detail down the county down, notes. down you know yeah. mm-hmm. all these generations all 40 and two generations and that's how we get to that's this. how yes. we're here yes that David didn't try to hide Bathsheba. No, no, he didn't. He, did, he gave us the story. Everybody knew that the whole story's out there. We all knew stories and, 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 that help us understand. And we have an accurate P and L. Yes, right. Yes, because you won't be sitting up here going, "Well, if we're worth millions." Mm-hmm. How come there's only thousands in the bank account? Come right, on, right, having to do right. the math. Who spent that? Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. Who Whose behavior it? spent that in right. the family? Yeah. Right, right. Yes. <laughs> like who cost us money? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Where they at? It, so we can kick them out. <laughs> because, because if I was, if my inheritance was three million mm-hmm. yes. and there's only eight hundred and fifty thousand, mm-hmm. I need to know how it was lost, not just who, right, mm-hmm. how, yeah. because I need to be able to make this eight fifty and turn it into four million. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Without the losses. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. That was a great yeah. team, Mark. Come on, that gets a little yeah. cheer clap. Yes, honey. Yeah. Yeah. That was good stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Profits and losses. Profits yeah. and losses. That was a, good. That was a great example.
Mm-hmm. And it is all biblical. I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, uh, the Lord was is the best detailed accountant yes. 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 on every yes. Yes. area, mm-hmm. on every area. Yeah. No, that is great. Mm-hmm. You have anything to say, Millie? I just know that, you know, we're doing this for to be a blessing to those that are watching, but I just have to admit that you guys have been a blessing to me Thank sitting you. here in this chair. I, I've, like, y'all put my business out there in a way. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just saying, you know, thank you and um, thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for all of oh, you. Love you, girl. Yeah. 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 My homie right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's my homie right Listen, that's there. Listen, the, yeah. that's the point. We're here to help right. each other. Yeah. yeah. Right? We're not living mm-hmm. this life by ourselves. No. Yeah. That's right. We and this is literally together. how you get through it. Yeah. It's in community. Yeah. Well, yeah. safe community safe and healthy community, community. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, with people that you know and trust. Mm-hmm. Right. I think I can't even tell on this stage the shortest time I've known any one of you would be, what, 15 years? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would be the shortest mm-hmm. time. Am I wrong? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I've known Millie the uh, longest. Seven. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. seven. Mm-hmm. But this is the best seven yeah. years. Yes. Yes. Narisha yeah. has yeah. been a wonderful. Okay, yes, seven yeah. for Narisha. Yeah. And so my point is, is that these are all people that have been tested, tried, and true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay? Have been through years uh, and more so decades of life. Issues, mm-hmm. problems, circumstances, good times and bad times, and guess what? They're still here. Mm-hmm. There's no judgment. I don't know if we've ever had a, even a fight. I don't know mm-hmm. if we've had any. I mean, I really, Mm-mm. I can't Who's tell. Fight with you? Right. No, <laughs> no. But I'm just, you know, it's it's just a. When you find good people, I mean, mm-hmm. good people, mm-hmm. you value and you treasure them, and you build lifelong relationships with them as long as you can. Yes. Um, that doesn't also mean, though, that you, um, uh, that you expect your friends to be your counselors. Mm-hmm. Right. Correct. Okay, mm-hmm. so yeah. you have them as confidants and comrades mm-hmm. and, and buds, and yeah, you can share things, and, mm-hmm. but you have to know that each person has their own level of bandwidth mm-hmm. that they can mm-hmm. handle, and we have to be sensitive to each person's um, parameters mm-hmm. and everybody's parameters are different mm-hmm. and so when you when you love your friends and you love your family the way I love them uh, I know each and every one of their parameters and their bandwidths and what they can handle and what they can't mm-hmm. and so what would I do if it's beyond their scope well guess what I'm gonna go mm-hmm. <laughs> pay for somebody or go to somebody who can help me beyond their bandwidth mm-hmm. and is there anything wrong with that Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Yeah. Right. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. And so I want you to know is to speak is free. Mm-hmm. It doesn't cost you anything except maybe, you know, culture, tradition, mm-hmm. pride. Mm-hmm. Uh, it may cost, um, you may feel a sense of embarrassment. You may feel a sense of shame. Uh, but I'll tell you that you will also feel a sense of freedom. Yes. And that freedom will outshine Mm -hmm. uh, these other things that may seem glaringly loud in your sight, um, in what you may think it will cause. And so sometimes, like we've been saying, just speaking is sometimes the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. But if you can't speak yet, yell in your pillow, okay? Get something out until words start to come. And I don't believe that People have to be alone. I don't believe people have to be lonely. I do believe that there are great people out there that we can find. If in order to have friends, you got to show yourself friendly as well. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, if you're just stuck in the house all day, how can anybody find you? Yeah. Right. Okay. So get out, explore, do things, uh, try things. Just try something new. There are going to be many conversations that we are going to have. I'm telling you, we are going to have things lined up. We are going to have some. Some, some licensed professionals on here that have some letters behind their name to maybe answer some of your questions. If we do a Q&A, we're thinking about doing just something. If you all have questions, we're going to see if they will answer them. Um, we're also going to do um, sets where it's just men, just teenagers. Um, mm-hmm. May have a counseling team up here. We, we have some things going so that these are tools, is everything that lies within me, uh, that can help you 
live another day, take another step, mm -hmm. keep going, be encouraged, be empowered, um, and not be defeated by isolation and not be defeated by your anxiety and not be defeated by anything. We're going to offer you as much as we can to help you because I want you to know that you are not in this by yourself. Uh, I don't think there was a story that we shared today that none of these ladies could have been like, I've never experienced that or I've never even heard of that before. There's nothing new under the sun. It just feels new sometimes when it is you and, it, and, and sometimes these situations make you feel isolated and that you're alone, but you are not. And so we will see you next week. And I want you to know that we are praying for you. We love you. Please go back and watch last week. And Unpacked Cafe is glad to be here with you in your home each Wednesday night. God bless you.